Hello guys, I'm the new day. Welcome to SMA TV 254. My name is Sylvia Mbuka. If it's your first time in my channel, welcome. Karibu sana. Feel at home. And remember to subscribe my videos to watch them, like, and also comment. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for always keeping tuned to my channel. Asante ni sana. Happy New Year. The year is still new. The year is still young. Yes, Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Welcome, 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 welcome. Karibu sana. So, our topic today is all about ways of saving. This 2024, how are you going to save your money? In this year, in this new year, 2024, how, what are the ways you are planning to save your money? So today I have like six points that you are going to share on how you can save your money this year. And without much ado, we'll be going straight away with our first point. Number one is automatic transfers. What do I mean by automatic transfers? In our daily today life, we have bills that we do we have projects that we are doing and to be able to be on the safe side especially on those things that they accrue penalties or fines it's good to create an automatic way of payment or a reminder to avoid being penalized or to avoid being fined when it comes to delay you know, in our busy schedule, at times you may end up forgetting that this date or this time you're supposed to pay this bill, this bill or the other bill. So, this year, let's create reminders or let's create automatic transfer in a way that our, you can connect your credit to your, you can connect your credit to your bills whereby when that time to pay comes, it just pay itself automatic. And in doing so, you may end up saving a lot of penalties and a lot of fines, and that money you can save to do other things. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, to a point number two, count your coins. Count your coins. Yeah, most of the time we go for shopping, and a lot of time we end up remaining with some of the coins. Where do you put these coins, by the way? This year, let's try and save these coins. Create a place, have a place somewhere. It can be in a shelf, it can be in a drawer, in a tin, in a, I don't know, anywhere safe. Whereby, anytime you go for shopping and you remain with some coins, you'll be putting that money, that coins in that place. And by so, by doing so, it may be just coins, as others may call it, but at the end of the day, you may end up saving a lot of money. That is, maybe if you want to check in the mid-year or at the end of the year so this year let's save our coins let's create a place whereby we can save our coins and this man can help it can come in handy when the need arise yeah <laughs> to a point number three pre-check your shopping yes to be able to achieve this saving habit or this saving goal always pre-check your shopping before you go for shopping check your kitchen check your house what is it that you need what is it that is running low whatever is there check out have a list of the things that you need have a list of the things that are so urgent yeah by doing so it will create it will help you avoid impulse buying when shopping yeah only buy what you need by the way don't buy things that you're going just to have in the house and you may not even end up using them. Why? So this year, make sure when you're going for shopping, you're going to buy something, have a list of what you need, just buy what you need. Whatever you don't need at the moment, leave it alone for meanwhile. Sawa, sawa. Yeah, so to a point number four, cancel any unuseful subscriptions. You know, at times, knowingly or unknowingly we end up subscribing to things that for sure we don't need and a lot of these subscriptions they they get money from you but not youtube by the way <laughs> when you subscribe from youtube there's no cent you pay from them oh my god so when you subscribe from youtube there's no cent you pay so there are some subscriptions that are free and the subscriptions that they'll get money from you so be warned be aware of such subscriptions, especially subscriptions that may need your payment details. Avoid such subscription. And at times, we subscribe unknowingly or knowingly. And if you are subscribing know knowingly, let it be something that you really need it. Yeah. And if it's something that you don't need it, why subscribe? And subscribe those subscriptions that you don't need that, that 
draining money from you. Such money, let's save this money that we can put all together and do something good for it. Amaniyate wazea. Yeah, so to a point number five. To a point number five. Set saving goals. Yeah, that's a point number five. Set saving goals. Hey, you know you can't just save for the sake of saving. For you to have that discipline, for you to have that drive, you need to set goals for saving. Are you, what is the aim of you saving? Maybe you want to maybe you want to buy a land, maybe you want to buy a car, maybe you want to buy a motorcycle, maybe you want to buy what? Yeah. Oh, that project that you may want to do. Yes, we have different projects. So, have set that goal. I'm saving for this purpose. I'm saving for this thing. And be focused and be displeased. Set that goal. And I'm saving for this duration. When you outline all that things down, you write them down, it will help you to be focused and it will help you to keep going in the process of saving. Yes. To point number six, eliminate debts. Debts, madeni. Yeah. In this life, or in a point in our life, yeah, in some point in life, all of us have, all of, all of us have debts. So it's good to make sure that you come up with a way that you're going to reduce your debts. But then you're going to reduce all the debts. Because when you have bigger debts or more debts, it's so hard for you to save. So make sure you come up with a way that you're going to pay these debts to, to help you save more. Yeah, make sure you eliminate those small, small debts. If, it, if it's big debts, come up with a way, a way that you're going to eliminate those debts to be able to save as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah, so there are some things you can do to avoid spending so much. Uh, one thing I can just add is, if you're working, why not pack your lunch? And you can guess in a month, if you are packing your lunch, you're cooking from home and packing your lunch, you are not buying lunch. So that money that you used to buy lunch, you may end up saving. So there are a lot of ways we can save. And if there's anything that you don't need, like dresses or clothes, if for sure you don't need that shoes, why buy it? If for sure you don't need that trousers, why buy it? If for sure you don't need that jacket, why buy it? Yeah, so this year, let's avoid the necessary buying, let's avoid the necessary impulse buy and our focus should be saving our focus this year is saving let's keep saving and this money will end up helping us in the middle of the year or in the end of the year or in case of any emergency that may come up so guys thank you thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe this video like and comment and also give this video a thumbs up and if you have any comments or if you have any topic that you may want us to discuss why not bring it up and I'll do research on it and bring it up. Thank you guys for now. It's bye-bye.